Hello, my name is Katrina. I'm one of the owners of Circle T Sod Farms, and today I am going to talk to you about your new lawn. A lot of people get new lawns put in and then they don't know what to do afterwards. You got a new lawn, what do you do now? Well, we're gonna start by talking about watering, mowing, different treatments, and different uh, common problems that you may experience in your yard. First, we are going to talk about watering. After you have your new lawn installed, you're going to be watering as much as needed within the first 30 days. Per our county water regulations, you can water as much as you need for the first 30 days. From 30 to 60 days, you can water three times a week. Now, after 60 days of, uh, after installation, you are going to need to revert back to your twice weekly watering schedule. And depending on what your home address is, depends on what days you're going to be watering. Now, some people ask if they do a partial renovation, can they still water as much as they want? The answer is as long as the areas are more than 50% of your zoned area, you can water as much as you want. Hand watering is required if you're only doing uh, a small area, small square footage that does not take up at least 50% of your zoned area. So for the new sod, you're going to want to water twice a day and you want that water to total half of an inch. This is generally about 30 minutes a zone. Um, in extreme periods of heat, you may need to up that, but you are going to be the best judge of whether you're watering enough. You don't want it to be saturated, but you also do not want the blades to turn in on themselves. Always wanna make sure that you have enough water. Remember, shady areas require much less water and they also need to be closely monitored by you, the homeowner. You are the only one who knows how much water is actually being put down and overwatering can very quickly kill your new sod and promote disease and insects to come into it. Also, making sure your sprinklers are in good working condition is imperative. Make sure that all your heads are working properly and that they're covering. Sometimes it appears as though the heads are working properly, but they have small filters that get clogged with sand and they are not shooting to their full potential. And you will notice small V's in your yard where the water is not overlapping and your lawn is um, diminishing in health because of those areas. Remember, overwatering is not better. Overwatering invites fungus and insects into your new lawn. I have some blades of grass here to show you as an example. This blade of grass is St. Augustine. When you're watering appropriately, the St. Augustine should lay flat because it is hydrated. One common sign of dehydrated blades is the blades will fold in on each other and curl up like this. The color of the blade will also change to a more gray color. This is what you're looking for. If you're watering for 30 minutes in your front yard and you're still noticing that all of your blades are turned in like this in half, you need to up your water until you're noticing that the blades are staying nice and flat all day long, at least until all of your sod is getting established, which is 30 days. So next we're gonna move on to mowing. 